Uh, incredible stuff Bobby has done. Now I want to introduce you to a, a fellow by the name of Duke Edsel. Go Duke. <laughs> Duke is an NCAA Division I college basketball referee. He's been doing this for 28 years. Now you have to understand that during a game, Duke will run five miles. He's been doing that for multiple games a week, five miles a game, 28 years. I mean, that is phenomenal what he has been able to accomplish. As he's been aging, it's been a little bit harder to do. Duke was introduced to Max GXL. He feels so good, he hopes to referee another 10 years. Let's have a look at his story. Tell me how you heard about Max. Uh, it's kind of a unique story. My brother, Randy Etzel, is a head football coach at the University of Connecticut. He was struggling running, and he works out all the time, and... Uh, through Ken Schweitzer, he got hooked up on Max, called me on the phone five days after he started taking, he was back jogging again wow. and back working out with the team. Called me on the phone and said, you need to try this stuff. Mm. Um, with the pound in my knees have taken over the years running up and down and I've tried numerous other, other things to combat the, the aches and the pains throughout the years. So I purposely waited till three days before my first trip. My first trip took me from Roanoke, Virginia to Dallas, Texas to work at SMU, mm -hmm. followed by an early morning flight to Atlanta, a three-hour drive in a car to Troy, Alabama for a game, back to Atlanta that night, flew to Raleigh, got in my car, drove home, got home to Roanoke about two in the morning. Wow. Was off Sunday, got in the car Monday morning, drove six and a half hours to Dover, Delaware for a game at Delaware State, went up to Pennsylvania and stayed with my parents and then got in the car the next morning and drove to Huntington, West Virginia for a game. Mm -hmm. After the game was over, got home, pulled in the driveway in the garage at two in the morning. Mm -hmm. Normally after a trip like that, four games in five days right out of the box, it's, I look like a pretzel getting out of the car and getting my stuff downstairs into my office and where the laundry room is at my house is an impossible task. Mm -hmm. I grabbed my bag when I got out of the car. I walked in the house. I walked straight down the stairs without using the railing or taking one step at a time. Walked into my office, dropped my bag, and went, what's happened? Wow. And I realized I'd been taking the max since November 10th. This was no now November 17th, and I could feel a difference. Wow, in a week. In a week. In a week. Now, you, that was your first seven days. Uh, but your schedule didn't end there for the season. What happened after that? Well, obviously continued to take it and continued to hit the road uh, pretty hard for the next month and a half uh, up through the first of the year when the schedule, schedule settles down because they start league play. I cannot tell you how much better I feel overall. Mm -hmm. My sleep patterns are better. I mean, we're up, we're, you know, working games 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night on TV, getting out of the gym at 11, 11.30, mm. back to the hotel by 12, 1 o'clock, up at 4 to catch the first flight in the morning to go to the next wow. town. And I cannot believe the energy levels I've had. Uh, I used to never work out on my days off. When we had a day off and we got to town, it was lay around in the bed, take it easy. I worked three straight games to start this week. Mm -hmm. um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I was flying to New Orleans on Thursday, and I couldn't wait to get to the hotel to go to the, the workout room and exercise because my energy level and just the, I, I tell the guys that I referee with, I can't describe to you how good I feel. Mm. And I've even had referees tell me, I haven't seen you run this good in two or three years, and I'm gonna be 53 the end of this month. Wow. And uh, so when my partners notice that I'm running better and, and things, uh, it's been a really uh, easy sell to those guys to say, hey, try the product, see what it does for you. Now, have you had any of them try it? Um, got about 15 or 16 of them already really? signed up on it. And uh, everyone I go to referee with, uh, I tell them about it. And uh, in fact, had uh, a young man He's not young anymore, but he's 62 years old, a friend of mine, who we hooked up when we were in Hawaii, and I told him about it, and he's had some severe situations with his legs over the years, and I was with him Wednesday night in Houston, refereeing, told me he's been on it five days, no swelling, he feels so much better, wow. and, and has stopped taking some of the other things that he was taking to help uh, with his problems. Wow. Now, now you've been a max associate for how long uh for less than a month okay and you've already have 15 people on the product yes wow 
Wow, just by sharing your story. Yeah, just uh, by walking in and saying, guys, I got something for you to try. We you need to try it. Wow. Most of the people that I talk to say they don't feel like they have to sell it. They just have to share what's happened in their life. And that's absolutely what I do. And I, I've, I've told you guys, just try it. And, it. and I'm telling you, if it did for you what it did for me, you'll be hooked. Mm. And all those other things you're carrying in your bag, you can throw that in the garbage. Yeah, Wow. <laughs> Now, I heard that, now, I never knew this until tonight, that when you ref a game, uh, how, how many miles do you go back and forth over the court? They, uh, they estimate that we go about five miles a night. Wow, wow. And the biggest thing for us is the, the surfaces are different. Mm -hmm. You go to some of the newer gyms, they're spring-loaded floors where you can really feel the cushion when you run mm -hmm. versus some of the older gyms that are, you know, just wood on top of concrete where, you know, in the past... I, I was aching after the game, wow. and the next morning, I'm, I hate to say this, but my wife used to say I looked like an 80-year-old man going to the shower till I got hot water running on my body just to kind of loosen it up. Wow. Now, when I wake up, I jump out of bed, I'm ready to go. Wow, this has to change everything because uh, nobody understands if you're not covering the play, right? That's I mean, correct. you've got to get your body down there where the action is. Right. And if you can't get down there, I would assume pretty soon you wouldn't really have a value to well, the game. Well, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to be 53, and I was starting to plan the end of my career. I mean, mm -hmm. after 28 years, I was hoping to get, you know, maybe another four or five out of it. Mm -hmm. But the way I feel right now, I, I'm, I'm looking at another 10, hopefully. Wow. <laughs> you know, it's, wow. it's just been unbelievable. Wow. Now, the people you've shared it with, have you had any stories come back yet? The most amazing story happened to me in Lubbock, Texas on New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. I was with the, my two partners, and we were having breakfast. Mm -hmm. And we were the only people in the restaurant except this older couple who was sitting behind us. And I was uh, throwing all the praises out I could on Max. And, in fact, these two guys had signed up earlier that morning, wow. filled out the paperwork, and I had faxed it into Ken to get him on the program. And so we were still going over some things and talking about some things, and all of a sudden this gentleman comes up and he says, can I interrupt your conversation? Hmm. And we said, sure, and he sits down and we introduce ourselves. And he said, continue to talk about what you were talking about. And so I was talking about Max and the glutathione and mm -hmm. what little I knew at that time till I came to Salt Lake today and got more informed. Mm -hmm. um, but it was, you know, we were just talking about it. And he stopped me and he says, how long have I known you? I don't know, three minutes, whatever that. He said, I want to tell you yet, what, young man. He says, you're on the right track. Mm. He said, what you're talking about, you, you're on the right track, he said, and you need to keep talking about what you're talking about and doing what you're doing. So I proceeded to say, well, what do you do for a living? And he hemmed and hawed a little bit, and he said, oh, I'm just an old farmer, blah, 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 blah. Well, I looked at his hands. He wasn't an old farmer. Well, he left the conversation, told me to keep doing what I'm doing and keep pushing the buttons on this stuff. And his wife came over and she said, he's a retired physician. Mm. And he heard what you were talking about and that piqued his curiosity. Mm. And um, so out of the blue, mm -hmm. uh, the guy said, hey, you're on the right track. And my two partners looked at me and said, well, you know, we're in. Yeah, terrific, terrific. Thank you so much for your time. Well, Steve, I appreciate everything. I appreciate the people who introduced me to this product. And then also the business opportunity, I'm all fired up and ready to go hit the street. And I have about 45 more games left where I'm going to see wow. a bunch more referees. And then plus we, you know, with the NCAA tournament, the conference tournaments, and then uh, the summer camp circuit starts where, you know, there's wow. hundreds of referees coming to these camps that uh, we're going to open uh, their eyes to what Max can do for them. To find out more about Max International, our products, and our opportunity, talk to the person who introduced you to Max GXL TV.